tributes have been paid from around the world to Mikhail Gorbachev, a man who was an important leader in the 1980s and 1990s. He's died at the age of 91. Shaniqua has been looking at how he helped shape the world we live in today. Walls dividing cities. Fences dividing people. This was Europe for many years during the 20th century. Two giant armies faced off against each other across those fences. On one side was the USA and its allies, including the UK. On the other, the Soviet Union and its allies. The Soviet Union was a gigantic country dominated by Russia. Children growing up in that time knew that war could break out at any moment between those groups, bringing huge destruction to the entire world. And then, Enter this man, Mikhail Gorbachev, who became leader of the Soviet Union in 1985. He was different to other Soviet leaders. He laughed and smiled and went out of his way to meet people. He wanted better relations with leaders from the USA and UK in order to make war much less likely. And at home in the Soviet Union, he began to allow people to speak openly. Up until then, what people could and couldn't say was strictly controlled by the Soviet government. But when people had the freedom to speak, it became clear that most of them didn't want to be in a block of countries dominated by Russia and be divided by walls. They began to protest against the Soviet system. Gorbachev was faced with a choice. He could send in soldiers, as the Soviet Union had done in the past, or he could let people have their way. He chose peace, and the walls and fences came down. Here's how Newsround reported it at the time. Last night, communist East Germany amazed the world by suddenly saying that its people could leave whenever they wanted. The Soviet Union quickly split up, and countries like Ukraine became independent from Russia for the first time. So, we're all still living in a world shaped by decisions made by Mikhail Gorbachev, a man who chose peace instead of war.